You may be wondering, how small do LEDs actually even get? Pretty small. Nice. So here's an assortment of LEDs that I have, just kind of show you what there is. Here's a quarter watt resistor. This is a five millimeter through hole, a three millimeter through hole, a 50-50 surface mount device with red, green, and blue, a 2835 surface mount, an 0603 pre-wired, 0603 not pre-wired, 0402, and this is an 0201 like you saw in the opening. So you're probably wondering, what does all this mean? Well, there's two basic technologies for soldering. There's surface mount, like this piece here, and then there's through hole, like this piece here, or SMD or THT. So you're going to want to look at your data sheet, but on these three millimeters, typically the long lead is your positive and the short lead is your negative. So you have your anode, which is the negative lead, and the cathode, which is the positive lead. There's also a flat spot on the cathode on these right here. So this little flat spot will let you know which side the cathode is. Now on these, it's a little trickier, but there's a little cut in one of the corners here, and that's normally gonna let you know which side the cathode is, or the negative side. All right, so what do these random numbers mean that I keep saying, like 2835 and the 5050? So if I take a pair of calipers, the 5050 is gonna measure about five millimeters by about five millimeters and the 2835 measures about 3.5 by about 2.8. So that's where these numbers are coming from. They're actually measurements of the LED. Put this LED on the nine volt. The long end is the positive, so we're just gonna put that there. And it's not lighting up. Why is it not lighting up? So the issue is we're pushing way too much current through the LED. The LED cannot handle that much current. So this is a current limiting device, which is great for testing. I'm just gonna put this on the nine volt, and then you can go ahead and test our LED and make sure that it's working. So that's great for testing, but it's not really gonna fit into a miniature. So how do we rectify this? So we need a resistor, and to figure out the resistor value, we need Ohm's law. So this is Ohm's law, but we're not gonna use it like this. We're gonna use some algebra and switch it around. So this gives us voltage divided by our current is equal to the resistance value. But for LEDs, we need voltage minus forward voltage divided by current is equal to our resistance value. So let's do an example. We have a nine volt battery, so we have nine minus 3.2 for a white LED, and that's gonna give us 5.8. We're gonna divide that by the current, which is 20 milliamps, so put 20 in there, right? Well, not quite. Current is measured in amps, so we're going to have to put in 0 0.02 to actually get an accurate calculation. So we're going to do the math, and that gives us 290 ohms for our resistance value. So here's two 33-ohm resistors. Resistor values are shown by the color bands. This one here is a 3-watt. This is a quarter-watt. The quarter-watt has a 4-band code, and the 3-watt has a 5-band code. So I know what you're thinking now. Wait, what? So you're gonna need one more equation if you're gonna run a lot of LEDs just to see how many watts are actually gonna go through the resistor. So you take the input voltage of your battery, multiply it by how many amps your LEDs are pulling, and that's gonna give you your watts. So there's two ways to wire your LEDs. You can wire them in parallel, like these three here, or you can wire them in series, like these three here. For series, we go positive to negative, positive to negative, positive to negative, and then the negative gets bussed down to the bottom rail, and the positive only goes through one resistor. For parallel, I've tied all of the negatives in these wires here, and I've bussed all of that down to the negative rail. And a positive for each one of these has its own separate resistor. All the resistor values have been calculated for a nine volt battery. So we're just gonna pull out a nine volt here, and plug it into the positive and into the negative rail, and this will light them up. Hope this has inspired you to play around with some LEDs and maybe even put some in some miniatures. Leave any questions in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them, and thanks for watching.